All right, how's it going, guys? So for those that don't know, we actually just streamed this like an hour ago. I am putting together this video to let you guys know that the Monster Sanctuary developers just released uh, a new Steam page and trailer for a brand new game that they're working on called Aethermancer. That's going to be a three-on-three -three, uh, turn-based combat roguelike game. I'm gonna flash over to the stream where we went over the trailer and the Steam page. And then uh, that's kind of gonna be what this video is all about today. I just really wanted to show you guys this. I upload around 1 p.m. EST, so I had less than an hour to put this together. So enjoy, please go wishlist them when you're done here. And uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Become... There's no sound or anything. This is just a GIF. Oh, the Steam page! Oh, shit! Aethermancer. That's a pretty cool name. Okay. Monster taming meets roguelite, like I said. Become the Aethermancer and fight alongside your mythical creatures. Explore the ever-changing fractured ruins. Plan your moves in challenging turn-based combat, utilizing the four elements of Aether. Watch your monsters grow stronger from the previous lives and defy death. Add to my wish list. Okay, let's, uh, is there a trailer? Let me back. There is. It's a minute long. Ah! Let's go. Dude, it looks good. This is really good pixel art. Naga was reborn and fight alongside mythical creatures. Let's go. What did I say, guys? Three on three. Master all elements of Aether. Watch this creation live in voice chat. <laughs> this is dope. This looks good. I wonder if we're gonna see any uh, monster sanctuary monster cameos. I'd be so down for that. That's dope. Okay, about the game. Become the Aethermancer and guide mythical creatures. Encounter the monsters of Teraste that defied the virtues of this world and are trapped in a cycle of death and rebirth. You as an Aethermancer have the ability to bond with these monsters and help them achieve worthiness to escape the cycle. Guide a party of three monsters through dangerous environments and utilize their actions and skills in combat. As they advance, make decisions in a smart skill selection system. What skills you can choose on is based on the monsters types and elements the skill choices you made before and after the monsters in your party making every monster truly unique read more fight ferocious monsters and divine bosses in turn-based battles where every action has consequences adapt your strategy to each combat uh, consider your synergies and plan the actions of your monsters wisely Harness and manage the four elements of Aether in order to unleash powerful spells, but whatever you do, make sure you watch the HP of your monsters. Go through the cycle of birth and, or sorry, death and rebirth. This is kind of what I was talking about with the countdown, right? Um, and how they're kind of, I know some of them are fans of Dark Souls. It's going to work into the story. When your monsters die in combat, you will lose them permanently, but you have the power to defy death by using their souls for rebirth. Their skills will be lost, but they may live again as the same monsters. Never lose hope. Your monsters will grow stronger from their previous lives as they gain worthiness with your help. Unlock player classes to bend rules. Impact combat as the Aethermancer. Unlock player classes that allow you to take on different roles. Each player class has distinguishing features that change how you play the game, allowing you to experience the game in your own way. Explore the ever-changing Fractured Ruins. Stop encroaching danger uh, of the void. Use your Aethermancer abilities to explore, seek, and fight your way through procedurally generated levels with multiple pathways. Keep going until you lose your monsters. Regather in the, pilgrim in the Pilgrim's Rest and advance through the Aether and prestige you collected and then try again. Enter the void and say hi on Discord. So 
their Discord server, I'm sure, is linked. I, I, I'm not sure if it's going to be... It's probably the same Discord as their Moirai one, so that's pretty dope. <laughs> Similar games you've played. Coromon, 167 hours on record. Let's go. Anyways, that looks pretty dope, guys. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this section of the video to um, make a separate video for everyone else like uh, just a separate upload for people that don't want to watch like you know 50 minutes in the live stream to uh, get this information but damn like this is I I'm pretty excited man anything from Morai is, is exciting to me so um, yeah what do you guys think <laughs> 